This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. <laughs> Hello, guys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> Can you dig it? Yeah, check that intro out. <laughs> Can you dig it? Now, if you'd like us to showcase your channel, Check out the description below and click on that link, all right? Free of charge. All right, guys and girls, let's get right to it. Today, we have a 2005 Nissan Pathfinder, and what I'm gonna do is show you how to replace the plugs and the ignition coils. We're gonna be changing all ignition coils. And if you check this vehicle out before, um, we had a cold PO420. Um, come to find out the spark wasn't going all the way through the coil, the, the spark plugs. It was jumping out through the side. So we're gonna be changing all the coils and all the plugs. Very important information coming up. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are, 4.0. The first thing we're gonna do, because on this side, you got we gotta take up the plenum a little bit to get to those, get to two of them over there. It's kind of sucks design. The first thing we're gonna do is remove this top cover. We have two 10 millimeter bolts right here. And what I got is a 10 millimeter deep quarter inch drive with my coilless gun. Two. Should be. That's it. Just let's get these. Dang. So, oh, okay, let's just send some grommets here. Son of a Okay, at least they drop right there. All right, so we got to pull these grommets off of here. Those some tight grommets. All right, there we go. All right. Let me get my two bolts on there, we'll be right back. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we gotta remove the air cleaner assembly. And we're gonna do this the easy way. We're gonna take a pair of needle nose and you're gonna squeeze this little tab right here. Squeeze that in and pull that out, just like that. Squeeze this tab down. And unplug the mass airflow sensor. Then you want to take your same 10 millimeter and you got two bolts right up here. Take them two bolts out. Okay, hold them to the side for a minute. Then you're going to switch this over to an 8 millimeter deep quarter inch drive. Or you can use a flat screwdriver. And what you're going to do here is the clamp over here going to the throttle body. Just going to loosen that clamp up. Just like that. Then you're going to come over this side. Use our needle nose. You take our needle nose. You got a clamp right here. Squeeze that together. Back that off. And slowly twist that off. Very careful because it is plastic. Lean that to the side. Next you're gonna do is on your air cleaner, you got two clips right here. One, and on this side, lift that one up. Take the whole assembly up, move it out of the way. Let's set this to the side, we'll be right back. All right guys, we're gonna stop right there over there for a second. Let's concentrate on these three coils right here. And what you have is three, you got 10 millimeter bolts holding these coils in on each one and then you got a plug let me take one of them loose so i can show you how the plug comes loose over there 
Now I'm using my same 10 millimeter deep, but this time I have a little uh, quarter inch drive extension. And this tension is cool because this tension is, serves also as a wobble. And if you push the socket all the way on, it locks into place. I'm going to keep it at the wobble level. And let's take out our three 10 millimeter bolts that's holding on to each coil. One. Two. Three. All right, let's get those bolts set to the side and we'll be right back. All right, we got them out. The next thing we're going to do is let me pull up one and show you how this goes. We're going to twist it a little bit and pull it up. Let's turn it to the uh, side where the connector is, right over there. All right, you see that little tab right there? On the end of that tab, towards the end part, you want to squeeze that tab in and pull back on the connector. Let's just see if I can set this camera down. Cut off our mistake. Alright. Gonna squeeze this plug in right here and unplug it. Just like that, okay? So Let's get the other two. Same thing, you wanna pick it up just a little bit just so you can get to the connector. Squeeze it, unplug it. Let's unplug all three of them, be right back. All right, we got them all unplugged. Now let's pull our three coils right out of there. One, two, that hose okay three so be careful that one was a little bit difficult to set but get out all right so we got our three coils out let's take our spark plugs out now to take our spark plugs out what you're going to need is a deep uh, 5 8 or 16 millimeter socket this one's a 16 millimeter with a 3 8 drive and I got my 9 inch well, this is, I think it's nine and a quarter yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, eight and a half uh, inch extension, 3H drive, and my 3H drive ratchet. So we're gonna put them down into the spark plug sockets. That's one we're gonna take out. Two. Now number three is gonna be difficult because you can see we got this pump right here in the way. So what you gotta do is Go around the pump like that. There we go. Right between there, right between the AC line and the pump. And be very careful. You don't want to mess up this AC line. You, have, you won't have no AC just from doing some plugs. All right. Now we're going to get that loose. And I actually could have got a longer extension. So I came out, it came out here. And then I can get more of a turn instead of what I'm doing. Now it's good. This is good. A t good time to have a spark plug socket because a spark plug socket have a little boot on the inside that'll grab onto that spark plug and take it out when you finish unscrewing it. But being that we don't have that, there's two ways of doing this. One, matter of fact, let's get this. Let's get this out of here and see if it's uh I'm gonna just show you one and then you can get the other two. Make sure this is completely unscrewed. I think that's it. Alright, let's back this up. Take this out. One, you can use a six inch five sixteenths hose, stick the hose down in there and let it push on to the spark plug and take it right out just like that or drop that back down there get you a nice magnet get down there and take the plug out all right let's get the other two out we'll be right back all right here we go the customer went and got brand new plugs platinums denzo cool look at these plugs man those are going to be some nice plugs and he's got all all new coils. Got Hitachi 
Hitachi, however you want to, how you pronounce that? Anyway. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is very important guys, the heads on these cars are aluminum. If you put these spark plugs in there just the way they are, there's a good chance they start corroding and seize up in the head, and then when you go to pull them out, they will strip the threads out in the head. It's not going to strip these out, it's going to strip the head ones in the head because it's aluminum. So what you want to do, I'm going to do what? Oh, so what you want to do, we're going to do the 007. Anything has to do with cube tip and lubricant, that's the 007. You want to take some anti-seize, and you just want to place a little bead right on the threads. So in that way, when you go the next time to go take those plugs out, they're going to come out nice and easy. So you don't have to put it all over the threads? No, nope, because as you're screwing the plug down, it'll get through the rest of the uh, that's the part. It'll spread. Yeah. And guys, uh, just to let you know also, you see on these plugs, these little washers, these are not washers. Those are actually gaskets. It seals up so the compression won't leak through. All right, let's go put these plugs in. Now I'm gonna set my plugs right here. And now this is where you gotta use the hose. All right, you take the hose, you put it onto the plug just to hold it in place because you don't want to drop it down there because you'll close that gap up and it will cause a misfire so you lower the plug down you screw it by hand make sure you screw it in by about three or four threads pull the hose up go to the next one same thing And last one, lower that down there, and do the same thing. Definitely want to screw it in about three or four turns to make sure you're not cross-threading. All right, pull it out. Now we're ready to tighten it up. And what I did on our extension, I added a six-inch extension also. So we're going to lower our socket down there. You want to tighten it up until it stops and I'm going to use this extension on the last one too so now I'm not all the way down there I can come up. So, as soon as it stops just turn it a little bit more tight tighten it up that's it all right let's get the other two and we'll be right back all right guys cool we got our last one tightened up take that out Make sure we got there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is come over this way. Now we take out our brand new coils. Okay, let's go over there and set these down. Okay, now to make this easy, what we're gonna do here, like, uh, let's take this one. We take it, let's plug it up first, and you're gonna go till it, till it clicks, just like that. And we're gonna lower that plug, that coil, down and push down. Get our second one, do the same thing. Okay. And our last one. And the last one's a little bit difficult to get to. So I'm just gonna go right there. Great. All right, before we push down, let's go plug it up. Okay, and it's got a twist, and then push down. Okay, guys, last but not least, we have our three 10 millimeter bolts that's holding down the coils. You wanna put them in by hand, a few threads. And 
Again, you definitely want to make sure it goes down a few threads so in that way you know it's not cross-threaded. All right, let's get those tightened up. Got my cordless gun, my 10 millimeter on it. And we're just gonna go down there and bring, this is not torque down a lot. There's not a lot of, there's no pressure at all. Push, pushing up on these coils. Cool, just like that, we are done with this side. Now for the other side, we got a little problem with that. We'll be right back. All right guys, now we got the other three. One coil right there, one coil is right there, the other one's up under there. This is a this dumb design. But before we do that, we gotta take us, we're gonna before we get to those, we gotta remove this, pick this plenum up out of the way. Now, you see right here, there's a bracket right here where I'm pointing to. And there's two 12 millimeter bolts. One right there and one on the other side. So what I got here is a 12 millimeter quarter inch drive socket or quarter inch drive ratchet and I'm going to reach in there and try to loosen this loosen this one up I'm going to take that bolt out now on this side right here you see the other one what don't you going to come right here baby I, I, can see it. All right. I gotta push this hose out of the way get my socket on there Well, you can use a wrench if you want. That's tight. Tell you what, I'm gonna mess around with this mess. Let's get my 3 8 drive, 12 millimeter. It's better. All right, now that those bolts are loose, let's get those bolts out of there. Be right back. All right. Now we got our lot, we got our 10 millimeter bolts and nuts up in there that's holding that, putting them down. But in order to get to this good, we're gonna remove this canister and remove this valve right here. We got a 10 millimeter bolt right here, and this one looks like a 12. I'm gonna use my cordless gun, get my 10 millimeter on there. And let's take that up, move it to the side, put the bolt back in there so we know exactly where it goes at. Then switch over to the 12 millimeter deep. that out lean that to the side now we can see our bolts a little bit better except right back here you see that bolt right there you can see it right between you can see it right between there where oh yeah, yeah okay I found your finger okay that one is going to be the difficult one so what we're going to do is get that one off first so what we're going to do Is take get this socket up here. We're gonna take our 10 millimeter deep quarter inch drive with our quarter inch drive ratchet and hopefully see if we can get back there. No, we can't because this thing's in the way. Dang it. So what I'm gonna do is use get my shallow tin. Because the deep was too too tall. All right, go up under here. Yeah, see now I can reach it with that. There we go. All right, let's get that bolt out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is great. I got the bolt. Got it out. Let's set it to the side. Now the other tens, and being that you're you at a good angle, see one. This one's. Let's see now. This one's a, a nut up there. And the rest of them. Oh, we got okay, we got two of them. That's you know what? Let's let's uh, we're gonna unplug this. Take this little switch right here, pull that little tab down, unplug it, get that out of the way so we can see this better. Alright, we got two nuts up here. So that's cool. And we got a 10 in there and a 10 in there. So what I'm gonna do now is that we got that out of the way.
I'm gonna use my cordless gun with my six inch quarter inch drive extension and my deep 10 millimeter socket. And I'm gonna go around here and have, have some fun. One. the other nut, so I'm gonna take that off, put that to the side, and that one. All right, let's see what happens. Huh, nothing. <laughs> that means we, we held on by something else, which ain't gonna be good. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Let's not get too crazy here. Okay. Oh, it is moving. Oh wait, man, we got this. We got this little hose right here that's holding it down. There's too much pressure on that. So you know what? Let's get that out of the way. We're gonna take our needle nose vice grips. Let's clamp right over here. Let's squeeze this clamp together. Unplug this hose and get that out of the way. Okay, that's one thing out of the way. Make sure we ain't got nothing else. Yes, we do got something else holding this on. We got a big, we got a harness over here. Oh yeah, I think our harness is right in the way. All right, so we got a tab over here on this harness. I'll try to get to that, push this tab in, and pick this harness up. Get a little, get a small screwdriver. Stop playing around here. All right, let me get a little smaller screwdriver. Be right back. All right, got me a little smaller screwdriver. And what you want to do is reach down in there, and there's a little tab. You want to just back that tab towards the harness and pop that out of the way, just like that. And you know what? While we're here, guys. Let's see this. I'm trying to see this hose right here. You know what? Let's get a let's let's take that hose off right here. Get some needle nose. I got it in here. Let's squeeze this clamp together. Wrap this off. Now to get that off because that's plastic, so you don't want to mess that up. So you want to make sure you have some hose pliers. Twist it. And you can use the intake to actually back it up. All right, so that's out of the way. Yeah, we started getting loose now. Okay. Next thing we do is come around this side. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is get this harness off of this intake. And we got two little tabs right here. So I'm gonna take my needle nose, squeeze in, and push out. Another one right here. Push it out. All right, good. Uh, okay, you know what? This thing is still held on in the back. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna do a better, do another thing. We had to get that out of the way anyway. We got two 10 millimeter bolts. One right, one right there and one right there. I'm gonna take that whole bracket up. So I'm using my 10 millimeter deep. And this time I'm gonna pull my socket up just a little bit so it can become a whip wobble. One. And that other one's right over here. Two. Okay. And that way the whole thing can lean right to the side. Now we got a hose back there that's also on, but I'm hoping we can get it right past, get it past that and don't have to worry about that. Alright, so let's see now. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Alright. Let's 
put this down. And what we want to do is pick up on the intake. This line is in the way. You know what? Guys, because this hose is this this is gonna mess us up, man. Dang it. <sighs> okay. We got a hose right there. Let's go bring this forward first. Let's get our needle nose. This thing becoming a project. Alright, let's push this back. And let's get that clamp. Get that clamp back on that hose. Man, I should have got better. You know, let me go get another pair of needle nose. Bear back. All right. What I got here is my needle nose vice grips. So they'll hold that thing into place. Back that up. Put it right there. Now let's get our hose pliers and carefully turn that and back it off, of, take it off of there. Great job. All right, let me put this stuff up and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Let me show you things out of the way. We don't need to take this. We don't need to take it off. That's all we need to do is get it up in the air. Let's go over this other side over here. Hold out, hold it up just like this, and there it goes. There's our three coils. This is, this is, wow, man. They got this the way this thing is. All right. Now to make this easier, oh, cool, cool. That that held up right up against that bracket right there for us. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do. Just give us a 10 millimeter swivel so we can get some of them bolts out. We'll be right back. All right, got me a, a quarter inch drive swivel 10 millimeter socket in my six inch quarter inch extension and my gun right here. And what we do is get in there. Over to the other side. Two. And then right there. Three. Okay, we got that up. Next we're gonna do is twist our coils. Pop them out a little bit. Oh man. This guy's gonna need valve cover gaskets. You heard that guys? Let me uh unplug this coil. Look at that. That's a lot. Heck yeah. Oh man, that just made this a difficult little job. Let's set this down and we'll be right back. All right, let's take up our other two. That one's dry. This one's stuck in here. I'm getting in. Unplug that thing. Okay, got it. Just one of them. That don't make no kind of sense. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Now this is the situation with this, guys, and this is Nissan, and I've ran into this problem before on Nissan Maxima. Um, actually, you can check out the video we did valves, um, um, uh, spark plug seals on one of these, and now they have aftermarket valve covers. You cannot replace the spark plug tube seals separately on these cars. It sucks. Even if you get the valve cover gasket, the valve cover gasket will be around, but it will not include those. So, 
here's the situation we um we found on ebay we got a seller selling both of them both valve covers brand new nissan valve covers for 119 dollars problem is customer uses this vehicle every day so we have to put this back together that's the bad part about this so here's what we're going to do we're going to replace these two front cells we're going to replace the spark plugs and the coils but this one right here we're going to take the spark plug out clean this up put an old spark plug back in there and an old coil so in that way it i mean it doesn't make no sense to put the new one in there right so we're going to put that back in there we're going to button this up so that at a later date we're going to come back and uh either we're going to be changing one valve cover or we might just change both of them and get it out of the way and we're going to get a new intake manifold gasket all right so let's get our socket and all and pull this plug out and man there's going to be so much oil everywhere <laughs> very bad all right guys customer going to look up there we might be leaving this down um depending on when he can get those valve covers but in the meantime what i'm going to do here is take my 16 millimeter uh, deep socket, 3H drive. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these plugs out of here. I'm gonna take these two out and put these two in before I get take that last one out because they're gonna be covered with oil. All right, so let me get those two out and be right back. All right, guys, let's get these out. Get our magnet. Take both plugs out. We got our new plugs. Already got the anti-seize on them. Let's lower them down into the cylinder. Screw them on about three or four threads. Perfect. Get our socket. 16 millimeter. And let's tighten them two up. Alright, let's tighten those up and we'll be right back. Alright guys, let's zoom in on that last cylinder right there. Let's go down there. And you can see that. Look at this man. Eh? You know what? Let's get us a rag and wrap around there. So we don't get oil everywhere. We'll be right back. All right. Let's get our rag put around here. All right. Let's go ahead and take this out. Now, once you take this out, the oil will drip down into the cylinder, which is not a bad thing. But when you start the vehicle up, it may smoke for a few minutes till it burns that oil right off of there. over there and let's see if our magnet will pick up that plug look at that and saturated all right the next thing I'm gonna do is take the rag stick it down to the cylinder clean some of that oil up just in case the customer do decide you know let's put this back together all right got it all right let's find out what's going on and we'll be right back all right guys check it out this is definitely gonna be part one we're going to leave this disassembled. Customer's getting a new intake manifold gasket. Also getting valve cover get valve cover valve covers. And uh it's going to get a 
We got this hose right here, and this hose goes between both valve covers. This thing always gets dry rotted and messed up. And as you can see, as we took it off, it started breaking already. So you definitely want to get that, all right? And just in case, here's the OEM part number for you, right there. Let's see, you can see that? Yeah, there you go. All right, so what we're gonna do, we got our new spark plugs in there, tightened up, ready to go. And what I'm gonna do here is just so nothing gets down in that engine, I'm gonna take an old spark plug and I'm gonna just put it down in there and just put it in about three or four turns. We're gonna get some rags to cover up the intake so nothing get down there. Set our plenum back over and uh, we'll be redoing this Monday. So let me get that done. And I'll be right back. All right, check that out. We got that spark plug down there. Got our rags set over there. We got all our all the bolts. Instead of having all the bolts lingering around and you have no idea what's going on, the bolts, when you take our bolts, put them back where you took them out at. And that way, you ain't got to worry about it. You can see we put the two bolts right there on the, on the intake up here. We're going to just fold our intake over. Lay it down there. We got to go on the air clean and all. So we are set. Everything else is good, good, good. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so this is the end of this video for the 2005 Nissan Pathfinder with <laughs> a 4.0. No. Okay, good. Laughing, so okay. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, we didn't get to finish. So we're gonna wait for the parts. And I, I'm not really sure what's happening now. I was inside the truck. What, what? I wasn't paying attention, but this uh, spark plugs and coils turned into yeah. valve covers. Yeah, Timmy told you what was going on. Yeah, so I can dig you, it. Yeah. So <laughs> if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post them below in the comment section, or you can email Timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com. What you laughing so much for? He ain't here no more. He left. <laughs> so hope you pay attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.